Hello and welcome to this screencast on how to add a timer into your PowerPoint presentations. Now this is a question I get asked quite regularly by staff in terms of wanting to either download or embed a timer that they've found in the PowerPoint and usually it becomes quite difficult uh, either that or they can't put it into a slideshow mode so they've got to come out of it uh, and it's quite complex but actually I found a perfect way of doing it within PowerPoint that should save you lots and lots of time and lots and lots of hassle. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to go up to the insert tab at the top and we're going to click on shapes. And we're going to look at the uh, the oval shape here. Now, actually, when you normally create an oval, what you will see is that it's very, very difficult to try and get a perfect circle uh, within there. But the way we can do that, actually, if we go back to this, click on shapes, and this time, if you hold the shift key down when you are creating your oval, it creates a perfect circle. Okay. We can then resize that and change the color and do whatever we want with it, add any effects we want uh, as we would normally do with any shape to make it fit your PowerPoint theme. And then what we do is we go up to the, the ribbon again and click on the animations. And this time we're gonna add an animation and we're gonna look down to the exit and look for wheel. And what you'll see when I press this, that it does exactly what you want it to do in terms of uh, wheeling away and demonstrating the time that's left. And this is great because lots of staff have started to clock onto the fact that with um, analog clocks and digital clocks, digital clocks are great, but they don't show the proportions of time left. And it's really, really nice for students to be able to see that they've, they've had a quarter of the time or a half of the time, or there's only a third of the time left. And that's a really, really visual and easy way for students to actually you know, know where they've got to, how much they've got to do left in any given time. So that's perfect. So what we would do now, click on the shape again, go back up to the, to the animations, and you can, just from the ribbon here, choose the duration. Now at the moment it's set to two seconds. Now actually, PowerPoint for some reason has uh, defaulted this to a maximum of, of 59 seconds. So even if I want to go into here and put 120 seconds, what you'll see is if you watch quickly, it defaults to 59 seconds there. So that's the, la that's the longest you can do within that setting just there. So if you want something for less than a minute, that's great. Okay, uh, And all you would do is you can see above there that says when clicked, um, that's what's going to happen. So if I go back to my slideshow mode now, click on slideshow, if I now click this, so in the, in the class you're setting the time off, off we go, and what you will see is that will then start, and that's the 59 seconds, and that will rotate round, and then when the end of the 59 seconds is gone, then you know the students can see. So that's that's one way of doing it. However, you might say, well, I want to set my timer for longer than a minute. So what we need to do is go back to the animations, and this time click on animation pane, which is here. Click on that. Double click on your on your oval that you've uh, created, and then in the dialog box here. Click on timing, and in the duration where it says 59 seconds, if you override that, and let's say we want it to be 120 seconds, type that in there, click OK, and then you've now got it for 120 seconds. So when I go to slideshow mode, click on from the current slide, click on my timer, and then this time it's now starting, as you can see, a lot slower this time, and that's going to be perfectly for a two-minute task within my lesson if that's what I wanted to. So a very easy way of doing that. You can then, obviously, if we come out of that, I can then resize this. I can put it to wherever I want in my in my window, you know, in, in my slideshow mode, wherever I want um, to fit perfectly. Um, I mean, you can then time your activities very easily without having any hassle of downloading anything extra. Okay, thank you very much indeed.